Hey there, it's Brittany and welcome to the 13 days of Halloween. I've been teasing you all, all month about this. I'm so excited. This is the first um, video. We're gonna do a really fun project. I just wanted to, I didn't really do a bead charcuterie board this time, but I did pull out a bunch of different stuff um, that I haven't really maybe used in Halloween videos before. I, I have used some of this, but just some stuff I really wanted to use. Um, from my stash. Look at this big hand. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but um, there are going to be 13 videos over the next 13 days, um, all the way up to October 31st. I'm so excited. Uh, here's another tray of just loosely haphazard stuff. I, If you follow me, um, if you subscribe, you would have seen my short video where I showed a bunch of strands of beads that are hanging out on top of my bead drawers um, that are also going to be uh, in videos. Of, I, I don't know what we're doing. I already know five videos have been made. Um, this will be the sixth one, but this is the first one I'm posting. So I hope you're ready for 13 days of spookiness. Um, I am pretty sure this bead is widely available in most uh, craft stores. Um, especially around Halloween it might be in different colors but I got this from Jesse James Beads last year in the trick-or-treat special with soft flex and I had an extra one um, I also had two small ones and um, we're gonna make this into a, a very easy wire wrap pendant I've seen some really intricate awesome pumpkin pendants this year they're wire wrapped and cauldron pendants and I actually want to learn how to do that there are tons of really cool tutorials out there so I'm gonna learn and maybe make one for myself next year but I wanted to do a super easy one if you're maybe intimidated by those really um, there some of them are pretty easy but they're way more intricate than this one so I have two different sizes of artistic wire in green so here I'm using 20 gauge with the large ones and I'll show you the earrings when I'm finished um, or the, the smaller ones I use 22 gauge. I am pulling off a really long length. I mean this is probably like 18 inches if not longer. We all know I like to use a lot of wire but I will use all of it in this project. After we wire wrap this I think we'll just make a really simple necklace. I think that I want the focus to be on the pumpkin not the the beads on this necklace so I'm going to push that um, piece of wire all the way up through you are going to be able to see some of the green through the middle but unless somebody's right on top of you like looking right at your necklace in your face you're not going to um, see that very much so I'm gonna put most of the wire through and save maybe seven eight inches and pull that up around the back just like that and then with the shorter piece I'm gonna this is kind of we, we do this all the time with other pendants but just wire wrap that a few times tightly around the long wire and this will be our stem and uh, so you want it to be as long as you want your stem and if you run out of wire here that's okay we are gonna we have all this wire going up and it doesn't I, I'm making a really messy stem. If you want a skinny, tight wrap stem, that's totally fine, but messier the better with this project. Sorry, the wire keeps hitting my light. That's what that noise is. But we're gonna just keep going. This piece doesn't really matter. You're just kind of building the foundation for the rest of the stem. So we're getting that nice and chunky. Okay. I'm just gonna cut that in the back Oops. and this if this was kind of loose you could just grab your pliers mine isn't that loose but I'll show you what I mean grab your pliers and then just make a bend and that tightens it up you probably want to do the bend on parts that you can't see though so just like that that's not going anywhere so now we have our very long wire and I am just going to take my pliers, bend backwards, reposition, bend forwards, reposition, and bend back again. And I'm going to pull this down a little bit to create my pretty loop there. All right, so I'm going to hold on at least in the beginning to the wire or to the loop with my pliers. 
And then I'm just gonna start going down wherever I want to build up that chunky stem. And I'm getting a little bit of um, slippage with using my uh, pliers. So I'm just gonna use my hands to wire wrap. So we've got a pretty chunky uh, piece there. I'm gonna take my wire and you are the master of your pendant here. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna do a loop here just like this. I'm gonna hold it down with my thumb. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna bring that loop up a little bit. There we go. And I'm gonna come back around. Pulling tight. I'm gonna come back around one more. Do another small loop right at the top. And then I'm gonna take my pliers and I'm just gonna bend this back and create a curly cue. And if you have longer wire, I kinda did that one a little bit shorter than I wanted to. So if you want more spirals, that's totally fine. And then I'm gonna just kinda grab that end and, oops, and I'm gonna separate it. Use my fingernails here. And it's okay, this is gonna be moving around, but it's organic. You can, it can go anywhere you want it to go. All right, I am gonna cut off a little bit of this curl. There we go. So I think if I were to do it again, I would do a little bit more curly cue, but I love the rest of it. This is what it looks like with more of a bigger curly cue. I kind of like the smaller loop there though. This one's a little more haphazard, but I love that no pumpkin is gonna be the exact same, especially if you do it this way. So that's a fast um, one wire, wire wrap of a jack-o'-lantern. Here are my little tinier earrings. So I did one to this, this one's really messy. <laughs> I did this one to the right side and this one to the left side. Now I did pull out some of my Halloween beads from my stash, or at least orange, black, and green. Um, I brought out these evil eye beads, but I think in this situation they would look, look like monster eyes. Wouldn't that be fun? I brought out some black cats because hello, those are cute. Um, I brought out some black, some onyx beads. These are from Beauty and the Bead Shop. And I brought out some black and orange seed beads and some orange melons. I think I'm going to grab, if I can find them, some leaves that we can maybe put on the earrings. Okay, so I found some earring or some leaves, but I'm not gonna. Sh I'm not sure that they're the vibe I'm looking for. These are from Anne Marie, so I'll set the earrings aside for now. I for sure want to use these. Oh, these are from Anne Marie too. Thank you, Anne Marie. They're a little um, bit of a shade off, but I think it works. I think it's totally fine. I think I'm gonna use. I like them both. I think I'm gonna go with the. F yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the one with the larger curly cue, but. see um, I'm expecting the channel to hit 14,000 subscribers within the next day or so I'm so excited um, I already have the giveaway planned um, so we will uh, do that probably next week uh, I have a lot going on with getting the house ready to sell so I can't I don't want to over promise but um, I certainly want to give back to you all because you're um, you're just all so amazing and and the prize I picked is retails for $80 so um, I can't wait to hit 14,000 so I can give one of you a fantastic present and uh, hint you've seen me unbox one of them recently but I don't want to give any more hints other than that. Okay, so I love that got me to use all of those beads and then I certainly want to use the um, the onyx I just love 
the simplicity of it, but I love how the facets on this English cut, they're really nice. I had these for a while, but I always just kind of glide over them because I don't want to use them. But I think this project is perfect for them. And again, I'm doing, this is, this is to get you making for Halloween. I don't know that any of my projects are going to be profound, <laughs> but um, I thought, you know, 13 days of holiday, Halloween would just be fun. You know, that's what I'm looking to have this, this, the next, the rest of this month is just have fun and hear how um, you all feel and if you're having fun as well. All right. So that's easy there. I do want to get, oh, I got to get a cat in here. I got to. All right, I had a free floating cat somewhere. So I think he's gonna, I'm gonna um, do, I think, I don't know what color, silver? Cause I'm not getting, I'm not putting the, the leaves. I don't think the leaves have the same vibe. So I think, should we go with silver? And then these are gonna go, Maybe I'll just, instead of using these, I'm going to use um, some silver spacers. How do these look? Uh, I don't really want... a silver between each one, but now I'm thinking, what if I did like a pumpkin, like make these look like pumpkins, put a silver top. I don't think I have any green spacers. It's like fat, flat spacers or green bead caps. I could paint them, but that's not the vibe I'm going for. Um, and then maybe like a green bead in between. Okay, I found these green beads in my stash. Um, they're from Curated Bead Box, I'm pretty sure, either that or dollarbead.com. And they're just glass. Um, I'm thinking if I just put one above each orange on top of a spacer, um, I think that could be cute, unless I found a bead cap. I like these little bead caps. These are a little funky. Let's try them out all about trying things out. We can always undo it. Um, I'm just going to thread on a little, a few of these beads just to see if I'm going to like how it looks. So it would just be a black bead, then an orange, then our bead cap, our green bead, then our black bead. Hmm. Okay, so I really like how the bead cap looks, but I don't like how the green bead looks. So I think I'm just gonna be, it's just gonna be a metaphorical pumpkin. <laughs> um, let's see if I like how it looks on both sides of the pumpkin. Yeah, I really like that. And I, I like that it's not bright silver. I like that they're not like perfect. Yes, I like that. So that's what we'll end up doing up up until we hit the last orange bead. And then throughout the back of the necklace, I'm just going to probably do black. Okay, so putting on this pendant, I'm not just going to hang it between the um, two onyx beads. I actually think I am going to hang it from the cat. I think that'll be cute, but I'm gonna do it in a little bit different way. I have some uh, Edo Miyuki seed beads in the black Picasso. And I am going to, I think, put on a couple here. I already tried using these orange and black ones, but it just didn't give me the right look. So 
going to come down here. Okay, and then I'm going to thread on a bunch of seed beads. like the third video this in the last three videos that I've made that I'm using seed beads so getting more comfortable I just really like using them as spacers and um, doing little things with them making them look maybe like more like bigger beads once you pile a bunch of them together I still haven't posted the the, the necklace that I made recently I'm using a lot of them all right that's definitely enough so hopefully this will work. I'm going to uh, slip on my pendant. I'm a little jack-o'-lantern. I wonder why it's called that. I've never looked that up before. I get the lantern part, but wonder why it's called jack-o'-lantern. All right, I'm going to pull out some extra cord. And then I'm going to come back up and go right back up that cat. We're gonna pull, pull, pull. And hopefully it doesn't turn it over. No, we're good. Just make sure that your loop is big enough to slide over the seed beads. Might want to use um, Elemino's here. Now, I am having a tiny issue. Maybe a, a spacer bead would be a good idea under the cat. Because you see how the um, silver is kind of showing on one side. And this guy just does not want to go over that seed bead. It's kind of resting in between the seed beads instead of resting on the seed bead. So I either didn't use enough or it's just not a big enough loop. I'm pulling tighter and seeing if that'll help. Yeah, that actually really helped. Love that little cat. <laughs> Let's see if I actually like how it looks on the necklace though. I feel like there should be a little hat on him or something. A little crown. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so I'm going to undo this, put this on there as a crown, and I'll be back. I am absolutely in love with how that turned out. <laughs> I love him wearing that little crown. Um, and if I keep pulling this pretty tight, that little piece of silver is gonna, not going to show. Um, if you don't like that and you wanted to do that, like recreate that, just put a silver spacer down there. It should work. Um, but uh, I'm going to be wearing this. This is going to me. I'm going to beat up the back just with the rest of the onyx and the um, spacers. Okay, that took entirely too long because I missed a bead cap all the way down here. <laughs> and um, I had already gotten most of it strung, but you know, that's why we need to double check what we're doing. And then um, I'm just gonna use a beetle on crimp bead in, in size number one. I'm gonna thread on my crimp bead, then my clasp. Then come back down through the crimp bead and a few of my seed beads. Now I am doing this a little differently than I normally would because it's almost like we have two we have two completely different sides of the necklace instead of one fluid piece, and that's because of how the cat um, segments the necklace. So um, I can actually do this one a little bit tighter than I usually do with like the loosey goosey method. Oh no, there's kink in that. So I am going to pull this tight because uh, for, for the reason that we don't want um, there to be any gaps down here. I'm just going to pull it, well, possibly as tight as I can. And then I am going to crimp. Somebody um, made me aware that these aren't in my Amazon store. Um, Unfortunately, I searched all of Amazon and they're not in there. So they're just the Zuron um, crimping pliers, like every other Zuron 
uh, plier is in on Amazon, but for some reason there, these just aren't listed. Um, which is funny because I think I did get mine from Amazon. So we just crimp and then turn it 90 degrees and crimp again. Oh, careful that you don't crack your seed bead. That's what I'm trying to do is be very careful in here. There we go. And I could put a bead cover on, but I'm not going to. Um, I will, this necklace is going to get very little use and uh, cause I'm only gonna wear it during October every year. All right, so cut that off and do the same thing on the other side, pull tight, and then um, I'm gonna crimp and I'll show you the finished piece. All right, here's our adorable necklace. I love it. Uh, definitely that little cat took me by surprise. I'm so excited that I was able to add it. So for this part um, on the loop, I actually used my, um, crimpers to expand the loop a little bit. I just kind of put it in there and pushed out with my hand and it made it so that the pumpkin will slide a little bit better. I love my little cat king or queen and I just love how the the check glass mirrors my little pumpkin. Um, I am going to finish the earrings. I'm just going to do this simply because these are pretty heavy and um, your ears are gonna be smartened after a while if we're putting extra beads on top of that. So I got out some black ear wires. Unfortunately, I don't have any green ones and um, I think you can make your own ear wires out of this, but I, the coating might come off and I just don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just slip that on my ear wire. And there we go, aren't those super duper cute? I'm so happy. I'm so happy with this set um, and I'm just super excited about the 13 days of Halloween. Let me know. Um, I've done several videos already, but if there's something specific you want to see for Halloween, let me know and I might be able to do it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Remember, we're almost at 14,000 subscribers, which means new giveaway. So please, if you haven't already, like, subscribe and share and stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute and she loves you too. Bye-bye. Hi, pretty girl. Hi. You want me to say hi to your friends? How come you're always so tired? Is it from lunch? Are you full from lunch? <laughs>